What's up guys, Adam Middlesworth. Welcome to my YouTube channel. In today's video, I'm gonna chat about the three essential parts of a Facebook and Instagram ad for mortgage loan officers and real estate agents. Now with every ad that you do, there are three essential elements, keys, parts of an ad. And this pertains to pretty much all advertising across the board, right? Even direct mail with postcards, uh, newspaper ads, um, magazine ads everything is the same except this one thing on social media Facebook and Instagram you have one second to grab attention to get somebody to click and to have them fill out information it's one second right so you need to stop them dead in their tracks from what they're doing because they're looking at cat videos and they're looking at images of you know, photos of their family or friends or funny funny memes or gifts or whatever, right? Um, so you need to stop their scrolling, you need to grab their attention, and you need to have a good enough call to action for them to click the ad or tap the ad and fill out their information or go to, a, you know, messenger or whatever you're doing, right? So there are three essential keys to getting that done. The first is with your image. Or your video so you need to have a an exceptional image that stops them dead in their tracks so that they stop on that ad right so if you're in mortgage or real estate then you need a really really good photo of a home or an image of somebody looking directly at the camera so that they stop their scrolling and they look at your ad right if you don't have that uh, then they're just going to scroll right on past and so that is that's really you know you need to give them a second glance right you need to have them go oh, well, oh man I really, I really want to look at that hat right or look I really want to look at that house or uh, man that kind of creeped me out or whatever it is right um, so that needs to be high high contrast colors or it needs to be a beautiful home or it needs to be somebody looking directly in the camera all three of those are really good strategies, right? If you have, uh, you know, listings that you are homes that you're looking to promote, advertise, and they do not have good images, then you are not going to get very many leads. You're not going to get very many people to click because they're just they're just scrolling on by because the home that that they see isn't something that they want, right? So that's the very first thing. If, if you don't have that right, you're you're dead out of the gate. It doesn't matter. If you have a conversion mechanism, it doesn't matter if you have good uh, good ad copy or good headline or whatever, right? So image or video has to be on point. The second thing is the headline. So if somebody stops, you've done a good job with the video or the picture, somebody stops, the second thing that they're going to look at is the headline, right? So they're gonna look at the headline. If it, if it, it does not pertain to what they want, then they're going to continue scrolling even though they stopped, right? So for instance, for if you are in the mortgage space, if you are looking for first time home buyers, then you need to say, hey, you can buy a home for less than 20% down or you don't need 20% down for a home loan or you know something to the effect where uh, it's contradictory in their mind where their belief system is and I really need 20% down for a home loan, I can't buy a home, right? So if they see a good image, they're gonna stop. If they see that headline, they're going to click. And it's really as simple as that, right? Uh, in real estate, uh, if you have multiple listings or whatever, you need to have a good call to action for those. You can have the most beautiful listing in the world, but if your headline is view this home, you know, you're probably not going to get that many clicks uh, unless the home is exceptional, right? Um, if you're in real estate investing, you need to have a headline that says, hey, we buy homes for cash, right? If somebody is looking to sell their home and, and they need an all cash offer, that is going to get a ton of clicks if that's what they're interested in, right? So the third thing uh, to make a successful ad, if you've done one and two well, is good ad copy with a good call to action. A lot of times you'll have a, you know, you can have a good video, you can have a good headline, and that'll get you halfway there. You'll get a, a good response, you'll get a good cost per click. Um, you can, you'll have good impressions, right? And and 
good cost per lead as a result. Uh, but your ad copy, uh, especially if you're in a tougher niche um, in mortgage, you know, you've got to have really good copy if you've got a good image and a good headline and your copy is then going to sell it, right? Um, if you're in real estate, it's a little bit easier because the pictures of homes really, really sell it. Um, and then the headline sells it even more. So um, with real estate, you can kind of get away with a really good home and a, a decent headline. In mortgage or real estate investing or in other niches, if you're in fitness or uh, or something else where it's super competitive and you've got to have good ad copy that goes with a good image video and a good headline so a good copy would be you know at the at the very beginning you need attention grabbing headline at the top as well that's a little bit different it could be a, a, a play on the actual headline uh, and this headline would be calling out whoever your target audience is you have to be a little bit careful of that because Facebook kind of frowns upon saying hey you know, uh, hey, chubby men in their 40s, you can't necessarily say that. Uh, but you can call out local areas, you can call out some things like that. Uh, and then you want call to action above the fold. So a call to action would be, hey, click on the link below to get more photos of the home. Or, you know, click the link below to uh, see if you qualify for our special financing programs or something like that, right? And then in the middle, so you've got your headline that calls out the audience. You've got your, uh, you can have a sentence or two here with a call to action as long as it doesn't get cut off. Uh, above the fold means it's going to get cut off and they don't see that prior to uh, clicking more, right? Because sometimes Facebook cuts that off and you have to click more to see more of that ad copy, the text above the image or, or video. And then in the middle, so you've got your attention grabbing headline, calling out the audience, call to action. In the middle, you want kind of the either the features of the home or the benefits of a loan program, or if you're in another niche um, like fitness, you would you would have the the benefits of joining their you know CrossFit at you know <laughs> CrossFit Plano or whatever it would it would be right. And then at the bottom, you need a another call to action. And then you know that's that's one template. You could also do a storytelling, right? You could you could tell a story of a first-time home buyer that you worked with who who closed on a home who didn't ever dream they could close on a home without 20% down. Um, you could have that testimonial. You, there's just a bunch of things that you can do. You have really, really long copy. You can have really, really short copy. Uh, you can have middle of the road. Um, as long as it is engaging and there's no wasted words or wasted space, um, you're gonna have a, a good success as long, as long as you have a good call to action. But without having a good image or a good video and a good headline and good copy, you're probably going to struggle with your Facebook advertising. Uh, in previous videos, I showed you how the number one reason uh, you know Facebook ads fail or why your Facebook ads are failing is that you don't have a conversion mechanism. So. Uh, these three things, along with a conversion mechanism, is a great formula for a successful Facebook ad. Uh, in the description below, I'll link uh, a bunch of videos that I've done on real estate, mortgage, um, even uh, outside of that, just generic Facebook ads and Instagram advertising uh, tutorials if you guys want to check those out. Guys, if you like this video, give it a thumbs up. If you have any questions, about Facebook ads, Instagram advertising, mortgage, real estate, leave them in the comments below. I'm here to, to serve you guys, to help you guys, uh, and it would mean the world to me if you guys would subscribe, If you only if you want to see more content, right? Um, subscribe, click the subscribe, click the, the bell beside it so you get notified of new videos, and I look forward to seeing you guys in the next video.